Hello and welcome to ClimbingAverage.com. My name is Dan Holiday, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the Petzl Naja, the latest friction saver offering from Petzl. So in this video, we'll take a close look at the specifications and things like that of the, the Naja. We will go over installation, different uses, retrieval, I'll even give you a little hack for the nausea and then we'll discuss the pros and cons comparing the nausea, why it's beneficial in what circumstances and how it compares to other friction savers that are on the market. Let's get to it. Hello. So this is the nausea, this is how it comes. It's got a long webbing strap with multiple pockets along the strap, one there, one there, one there, and then one at the end. Um, this is the main body of the nausea. This section here at the top is called the stopper. So basically that's what stops it from going through the webbing. So the webbing is stitched and designed at a specific size that this cannot go through. It's attached in the middle and this is like a pivot point. So when this is loaded, it's pulling down into the strap pushing up against the stopper and then upon retrieval you pull in your rope out it pivots this really smooth like body design is designed to like just pop out of that pocket the retrieval strap so your rope goes through there and this there's another little pocket stitched onto the retrie retrieval strap which is where you can put your retrieval line rope throw line whatever you want to use a minimum brake strength of 25 kilonewtons meets uh, ANSI Z133 standards um, as well as European standards for uh, friction saver anchor anchoring device 11 to 13 millimeter rope it's got quite a small pulley wheel on it uh, smaller than the Petzl Eject smaller than like um, a Pinto pulley things something like that um, the so that means that the efficiency is a little lower than the eject. I think the eject is 95% efficiency. This is 91 and that is based on using the smaller diameter rope. So if you're using 11 mil rope, 91% efficiency. So a bit lower efficiency there. You might be asking yourself, why did Petzl bother trying to re-engineer the friction device when there are already like multiple devices on the market that do the job and do the job well? Uh, what are they trying to achieve? This webbing strap coming through the union, that is the biggest advantage of using uh, either this or the Petzl Eject. As you retrieve it, the only thing to come through the union is that little strap almost impossible i won't say impossible but i'll say almost impossible to get stuck no matter how tight the union is um i mean this is tree work so i'm so sure somebody will get it stuck somewhere down the line um but compare that to the big ring of a ring and ring friction saver there's so much more chance of that ring getting stuck in the union same goes with the, like a pulley saver even the pulley saver with the the soft eye, that stiff soft eye can still get jammed in like a, a tight union. I'm sure it's happened to many of you. This getting stuck will have happened to many of you. Um, so that's the thinking behind the the Naja and the Eject is that they're trying to only have that webbing strap coming through the union. Let's go over the installation procedure. So you get the strap, pass it around the union that you've selected as a safe union for you to anchor to so take the the end and then poke that through the webbing and then feed it all the way through so that it <coughs> sits up against that that stopper part of the body feed your climbing line from the the stopper side through to the other side so in this orientation it would be right to left you might install it the other way around, but if you always feed your climbing line through from the from the, the stopper side, and then set my system up like that, and then remember to clip the retrieval uh, accessory carabiner. This is not life support, obviously. That's just the accessory accessory retrieval carabiner. So I clip that on to 
not to the termination side but the other end and then there you go that's a simple setup and now you're free to work so that's for your moving rope system we just want to take a second to thank the amazing folks at chip drop for sponsoring this video if you've not heard or used chip drop then this could really help chip drop is exactly what it suggests it finds you convenient places to drop your wood chip very cheap or even for free not only does it save you cost on dump fees but chip drop saves you travel time and fuel costs the website is super simple and easy to use after watching the rest of this video click the special link in the video description sign up and find your next drop site thanks again to chip drop for being the sponsor of this video back to the petzl naja so you can also use the naja for a stationary rope system so for that system Obviously, install the Naja exactly as you need, as you would, as we did before. Um, put the termination end through the Naja, and then you need to feed that termination end all the way to the ground so it reaches the ground. So pull all the slack through that you need until you get it down to the ground. As per the Petzl instructions, tie a stopper knot. Um, they in their instructions tied uh, figure eight on the bite, so that's what I'm going to do here. There you go, set and dress that stop or not, and then put a carabiner through there. Okay, and then you're going to be climbing on this side. So if you're using a zigzag, you'll need the chicane on there. So I'll just connect that up. So this is the side that you're going to work off. Now don't get this um, mistaken. So you need to connect up the retrieval as you usually would or as you would in the moving rope system. Um, okay so the reason you're jamming up against this side is so that you're not you're not jamming the retrieval carabiner in like in against the pulley wheel and possibly like having a chance that it might go through the hole and kind of cause some damage through there. So you're jamming up against this outside and then you're working on the side of the the stopper, the, like the body of this, this kind of flat stopper here. So work on this side. The one downside of the Petzl Nagia is that it cannot be installed from the ground using a throw line like you can with a ring and ring friction saver. But in this day and age, how many people are actually doing that on a regular basis? Um, for me personally, I used to do it the, when I was always climbing uh, on a moving rope system earlier on in my career. But now with the, with the common use of stationary rope systems, um, accessing the trees and then selecting your, your final time point, whether you're climbing moving rope or stationary rope, um, that's the most common thing to do so i can't actually remember the last time i installed a ring and ring from the ground with the throw line um, some people might do it because everybody works differently uh, people in different parts of the world climbing different trees use different systems so but yeah that is not a big deal for me but it may be for you once you're in the canopy and you've set it you obviously need to think about retrieval before you've gone and done your work so if you want to do a controlled retrieval of the system um, one of the options is you can take like a throw line or some kind of thin line that you might have like accessory cord uh, like a long length of accessory cord um, you pass that over so there's like a, a there's a small branch behind here so I'll, I'll pass this over and then I'm going to connect this little carabiner through that little eye that's on the retrieval end uh, just lock that up and now I've got a retrieval line installed um, some people might not like using throw line because it can uh, it can get tangled it can get be hard to see and if it's if it's in an area where you think you'll be working at some point it just can be a little bit annoying so you might want to use something a little thicker if you have something like six mil eight mil um, but also you've got the option of using another climbing line so on the ground once you've done all your work put on the retrieval ball that comes with the nausea as long as you made sure to have that retrieval 
that small accessory carabiner connected to the tail end of your line that'll come through it'll pip the nozzle will pivot it'll pop out of the webbing eye and then you see you've got the retrieval line that's attached to the black strap on the nausea and as you pull that out you can control it you can control it on the way down you can use another climbing rope that you have um, so then this stitched eye will actually take a, a normal size carabiner as well be, it's pretty tight but it'll take it the other bonus thing about having a retrieval line is that as long as it's like pretty much level with your friction saver or it's a little bit higher that even if the nausea were to get caught further down in a different union like the body of it would get caught then you can use the the throw line or whatever your retrieval line is to actually pull it back up out of the union until you can drop it down again there are multiple different ways you can you can catch your friction saver before it hits the ground um, using different kind of techniques using ropes that you throw back up into the canopy after you've finished like or you can throw your throw line up there a um, bunch of different techniques but this is a, this is how like the Naja is designed for you to pre-install it um, ahead of time so there's one small extra step where when compared to normal retrieval of um, your climbing line you need to get the end of your climbing line like the tail end tie like something just to connect a carabiner to so i've just done a figure eight on the bite and then grab the termination eye that you sent down from the friction saver is that means that you can pull your climbing system down from the ground to untie this knot so to retrieve your your whole climbing system you first need to get rid of this stopper knot so now you've created an entire loop you're not going to lose your rope at any point depending on like the length of it on the ground you can pull the stopper knot down take out the stopper knot and then disconnect the carabiner from the termination eye put on your retrieval ball and now depending on if you're doing a controlled retrieval or um, non-controlled you'd have already set up your retrieval line on the nausea while in the canopy pull it all the way through and then it'll catch on the retrieval carabiner and then out it comes So the Petzl Nausea is not a true cinching uh, friction saver. So when you're working on like a spar pole or if you're working on a really skinny stem with no branches that you want to select for your anchor point, um, it's not got like an adjustable cinching system to it. You can, you can select like a tighter pocket, but you can't cinch it down. So the way that you can actually do this, Working on a big stem, this is, this is not going to work unless you've got like an extended strap. So unless you buy another strap or maybe another two straps, this isn't going to work. But um, if you're working on a tall skinny stem and your ideal time point is like there's, there's not any branches around that you feel comfortable selecting or it's like a tiny little like offshoot and you want to cinch onto the stem, this is what you can do. So you're just going to take a full wrap around the trunk, make sure that the end without the pulley on it runs over the top strap of the end with the pulley on it. So this is about what, seven inch diameter or like, I don't know, like 17, 18 centimeters diameter. Um, so this is actually like, bigger than what I then what you could do you could be on like a 10 centimeter stem diameter or something like that and and it so it's even more important to to really get that that weight load in the stem rather than like some tiny little offshoot on the side of it and like resting on it so make sure this is this this part of the strap is going over the top 
when you come to retrieve it pull out that and it'll just fall to the ground um, obviously if you want a, a soft or safe retrieval you need to put a retrieval line on there as well but as long as that strap is as long as this strap is on the top side then it will always come out really easily you almost don't even need to pull it it will kind of just like fall out so that's a great little hack for the pets on nausea when you're on a skinny stem okay final conclusion on the nausea it's uh price wise the nausea is 160 pets eject is 260 um, you can get ring and rings from the range of about 50 dollars us up to like 110 depending on length if they're adjustable or not um, so ring and rings the cheapest option and then you've got things like the the art twin guide which is like five over 500 dollars so there's a whole range and then you've got the pulley saver there's a whole range of different ones depending on what you want from your friction saver this if you like climbing on a pulley that's efficient or that's more efficient than rings um, this is a really good option because like the retrieval is, the retrieval is the best part about it you can control the retrieval it's not going to get stuck in your union unless it gets stuck further down the canopy in this bit um, yeah it's not going to get stuck in your your anchor union uh, so yeah great option 160 uh, more expensive than ringing rings so uh, yeah you choose it's up to you <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching as always. Um, yeah, I like doing these review videos of new products. So um, yeah, I hope, hope you find it useful. Thank you very much and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.